So this morning I'm heading back to one of my camera traps to pick it up before sadly I have to leave. Uh, this is the one I checked the other day when I was doing some landscape photography uh, down the stream, uh, but fingers crossed we might have got some final images. I'm actually moving them a couple of days earlier than I would be because we've had a tip off that in the bio garden we have um, an ocelot that's been pretty close to camp. So what I'm doing is pulling a lot of my uh, cameras. I'm gonna put them on location uh, to see if I can get um, some nice pictures in the last few days because we've really got a good location where we know uh, stuff is coming in. So when you get something that's kind of a bit more tangible, it's a good one to go after. But I just wanna check this, see if we've got anything before I pull it all out. Uh, so let's uh, see what we've got. Well, camera's in position. All looks pretty good. The lights are dead, I think because they've been out for quite a while, so the batteries have probably gone off. But let's have a look and see if we've got any pictures. Oh. Wow, it's got 468 triggers. That basically means there's a load of false triggers. So um, I'm pretty sure there's probably not any pictures, but I might just check through and have a look anyway, because it might be that over a couple of days it hit them. But uh, we'll have a look, and then I'll pull everything down and take it uh, back to camp and into the bio garden because maybe we can get some last ocelot images before I leave the jungle. It's going to be really sad but uh, it's been an incredible uh, two months out here and when you wake up to this every day you know that you're just going to want to be back. So I'm going to dive in, have a look and uh, fingers crossed, you never know. Well as I always do, um, I cycle through my pictures just, just to check and I thought to myself with 1,600 pictures on the card it's just a load of false triggers and it was um, after the second day but on the first night uh, pretty much about four hours after I left the camera and walked off into camp we had a puma walk through sadly it walked the wrong way so it came all the way down here and over there and I got two pictures of it walking across the buttress route but it's just so cool like I was here and then a puma just was on this trail the same day as me is just absolutely amazing. Um, you know, all the camera trapping that I've been doing out in the rainforest, just everything to hopefully get these pictures. You know, it's not the perfect shot. It's not, you know, that cracking full frame of it coming this way, but it's a start and I know that I will be back. I know that I'm going to leave a camera here on one of the trails that I think looks absolutely gorgeous, but we're getting there and it's just been so worth it. All the effort of putting these in, coming to check them, just so cool. I got a puma. An actual puma walk through my trap and that is just, oh, I'm having a really good day. And now I'm going to take this and hopefully go photograph some ocelots because you never know, last three days we could get really quite lucky. So I'll see you in a bit. has already been an awesome day. Uh, woke up and got out, went to check the camera traps in the bio garden and was lucky enough to get a couple of ocelot pictures. They're not perfect but I've reset everything for tonight, tomorrow and the next day before I leave. Um, but what I'm doing now is myself, um, Beth and uh, Liv are heading down um, to the location where I'm going to be building my final camera trap that's going to be left here in the jungle uh, when I head home. It's a location where I got lucky with the puma, but I'm actually gonna put the camera trap on the other side um, so it goes down to the river crossing um, with the idea that I might get that shot of a puma or a jaguar coming down to the river over the next couple of months that it'll be out. Um, but this bag is pretty heavy today and I'm really starting to feel it. I'm looking forward to the next few days of really kind of smashing it and getting as much done as I can uh, before I head home and then I know that when I do finally get home, I get to relax and look through many, many images. But right now, I've got a job to do, get this camera trap out and hopefully get that final picture of a Jaguar and something really, really cool.
So we've made it back to the spot where I had my camera trap in the other day uh, and we got the Puma. But this afternoon I'm going to set it up so it looks this way at the tree because it's on the other side and hopefully we'll get it coming down and going out onto the river uh, that would be ideal. Uh, I've got the magic arm set up, everything like that, so I can build it in, get a really solid spot for it. Uh, and then this is going to stay here for probably the next uh, two months or so. Uh, and then luckily Beth and some of the research guys are going to check it for me and let me know if we get any pictures. Uh, and after I've built this, I might do some uh, landscape shooting, just get back out in the river, shoot a few more pictures. But I've got to get this done and I can even check it over the next few days to make sure that everything is going perfect before I leave it. But uh, I better get moving because it's already like four o'clock. I've got two hours to just get it in place and get everything working how I want it to. So the first process to do is to visualize where I want my shot from. And this tree that is off the section actually acts as a really nice piece of foreground interest. Um, with any photography, be it like landscape photography, camera trap photography, wildlife photography, whatever you're doing, uh, you kind of want to break it down to those sections of fore, middle and background. Um, it's going to give you a more interesting frame. So what I'm going to do is uh, bang my, my kind of hardware. Um, this is simply a nice metal rod and then my Manfrotto magic arm. Uh, I'm going to stick that in over there so I can get my camera trap exactly where I want it. And I'm going to frame up with the tree coming over the side that's going to be just over this area and then the buttress root is going to be in the middle giving a perfect place for the jaguar, puma, whatever it's going to be to come through and then move down uh, to the river below and hopefully it'll look like a really nice shot so that's what I'm going to do first and uh, then we'll get some lights in and uh, make it make it look good so I've been setting up for about half hour and have achieved pretty much nothing due to the fact that I've been banging a stick in to try and find my perfect place and it's just too many stones but I finally got it in at an angle so I'm just putting my head on uh, so I can get the case in place with the tree in the foreground and then the buttress off to the back and then all I'm going to do is set my lights up and get the trigger in. I don't have that much time so it'll really work quickly uh, but fingers crossed we'll get this in and then I can check it tomorrow and the next day to just make sure things are great but uh, hopefully this composition will look really nice and maybe we'll get a puma. After a couple of hours of putting everything in, we're pretty much ready to go. The uh, sensor is here, and then the other one is opposite on the camera. And I have my two flashes up above. Um, I'm shooting through this tree, um, and I've got this flash positioned so it gets a little bit of light on the edge, just adds a bit of interest. And then looking straight down towards the buttress root, and um, hopefully my cat, you know, whatever it is, will trigger as it steps down here. Um, walking across that will mean it was looking pretty much straight at the camera um, before it walks down um, and across and down to the river but uh, fingers crossed it will all work out and we'll get some shots but I'm gonna click everything on tonight uh, and then I'm gonna come back in a couple of days check how things are working uh, you never know we might get the image then but it's still gonna stay for a couple more months just to hopefully get some extra pictures but all looks good all's in all I'm gonna do is my test run make sure everything's working how I want it to and then I can get set up and head home. Everything's working, test shots look like they're going great, uh, sensor worked perfectly as I wanted it to. Um, all I'm going to do now is box everything up, head back to camp, uh, and then in the next few days I'll come out and check it. I'm going to make sure I'm not getting any false triggers uh, from the sensor position, anything like that and hopefully we will get some images. But all I'm gonna do now is close up and then uh, head back for some dinner. So this afternoon I'm heading back to my camera trap, the one that will be left here uh, whilst I leave Peru. Uh, and Anna, who's behind me, is incredibly going to be my assistant for the next five months. She's gonna monitor my camera trap, uh, change the batteries, make sure everything's going, um, and hopefully we will get some really awesome shots. Right, so we're at the trap, 
now it's time to have a look and see if we actually got anything. Um, we probably didn't because I only put it in like two days ago. So as we expected, it's just the volunteers and the film crew who have been working up in some trees out there. Uh, but what we're going to do is, looking at it, at least I can see that the lighting is really nice and everything is working uh, as expected. So we're going to change out the batteries, get everything in position, and then we can leave it uh, for the next couple of months. It should be really good. Uh, so we're going to crack on with that. And uh, you never know, over the next six weeks, eight weeks, five months, we might get a shot of a Puma or a Jaguar that would be A, hopefully going the right way and just be awesome. So uh, we better get to it. Right, so over the last half hour, we've uh, put the camera trap in, everything's ready to go. It's behind me, scout, sensor, everything is sorted out. Flash guns are all in and in position. Anna, are you fully trained and ready to watch it? Yeah, I'm all good. She's all good, excellent. So fingers crossed over the next couple of months, we might get some awesome pictures. You never know, but it's definitely worth a punt leaving it here. And luckily, Anna grew up down the road from where I grew up. So uh, when she comes back in December, she's gonna be able to bring it back for me. It's absolutely perfect. I think one of the things about photography is all about having people who can help you working as a team uh, to get shots. And so this is a great way uh, that I can have longer on location and go after that exclusive picture of a Jaguar. We're heading back to camp because it's my last day and I've got other things to sort out and get done and I must pack because everything is still just all over the place at the MLC uh, and I need to, need to get my bags all sorted before I go tomorrow. So after a good afternoon in the forest uh, teaching Anna how to do the camera trap I'm now back taking off my wellies for possibly the final time. Well anyway for going into the forest I think we're having a bonfire tonight uh, before I leave but now I'm gonna go jump in the shower because I am really sweaty and I'm probably gonna enjoy my final cold shower before I leave Peru uh, but it's been absolutely awesome hanging out in the jungle camera trapping we've had some great pictures and it's such a great team here at Crees who have been incredible in helping me out whilst I'm working in the jungle uh, getting pictures and stuff like that and just supporting me um, it's just you know to mention that they're awesome they're doing a great job here huge amount of research and it is just such a special place to come and visit and I really am gonna miss it and be sad to not wake up to the sounds of the jungle to have rice for breakfast and to just be surrounded by so much incredible wildlife but I think tonight we're gonna have a few beers sit back, relax, and just enjoy my final night in the jungle. I've shot a boatload of pictures, um, and tonight is about the guys hanging out and having a really good time.